Here we go, the true start of the new story arc. All be entering with pros. Bizarre, Gran Torino appears. Apparently he was a teacher of All Might's back in the day. He only taught there for one year, huh? Yeah, this is it. This was in a post credit scene last episode that I didn't do on camera because I missed it. But, uh, yeah, I will definitely be checking for after credits episodes now. Oh, a new opening. Third opening already. Huh? Is this a Yoda-style situation? I know the people who made this are fans of Star Wars. Ooh. Yeah, it is a Yoda situation. Now, where's that attack? But, sir. Hey, what are you doing here? What the heck is with this guy? I'm here because I need to learn how to control one for all. I have to get so much better at it. And fast. Okay. Now, we see he's acting. But here's an interesting question this brings up that um, I got to think about here for a minute. Okay, so super-powered humans are a thing in this society, and they have been for, let's say, at least three generations, maybe even four generations. What do they do when people who have superpowers go senile? There's going to be spoilers in this conversation for the movie Logan, so if you haven't seen it, skip ahead about a minute. Um... One of the best things about the movie Logan was the fact that Professor X caused the death of the X-Men. And he didn't mean to. Like, it was just his brain rotting away. And he was so powerful that once he was senile and couldn't control his powers, he hurt people he didn't intend to. And it happened in Vegas, too, in the movie. So I wonder what happens, like, if someone like, let's say, Todoroki is old and become senile like what do they do with that I mean he, it, he could destroy an entire city if he wanted to like if he didn't have control over his powers it's just something weird to think about or people with super strength like how do you restrain an old person who's having a fit and they've got super strength he needs to hear this I was saying that last episode. He's not the best mentor ever. Here we go. After this, does he stop breaking himself? I like that. It's just just a little different. Ah. Nine users. Okay. So, there's been nine people who have used one for all, which we, we kind of saw because he saw, he thought he saw eight faces, which means superpowers have either been around a long time or they've been passing on one for all pretty early in their lifetimes. This is good. Good info. <clears throat> More special than it is, huh? Old school sensei relationship. He needs to use it differently than All Might does. He's trying to be All Might. He's not ready for that. This is the normal hero. Yeah. Pro hero manual. He runs. He's the normal hero. Ida only picked him so he could come to the city, though. Stain. Very threatening character design. This show has been extremely good with the villains that it has shown us. They all look friggin' scary. My favorite one so far is the guy who looks like a nebula who can warp. I, I really like him. And I like him, yes, that guy. I like him when you can see his outfit, too. It's good. I'd like to do that costume if I could figure out a way to do it. Huh. That's interesting. So the guy with the warp power is not an underling of the guy with the hands. He's more like a minder from the bosses. Like, they keep him in line. Yeah, he's smart. But I already knew that from the heroes and villains are cut from the same cloth. So your job here is to watch me. I'll show you what makes someone a hero. 
What in the hell are you doing? Isn't it obvious? Heroes and villains are cut from the same cloth. That includes being aware of the way you speak of your being. Everyone in his agency is so stylish. Nice. Yeah! We were able to put in two offers this year from the government, so we're civil servants. But there's more to it than that. Government employees. We offer our Mm. Heroes are more effective, get paid more. It's not about the popularity, about it's the effectiveness. Uh, she's feeling bad about losing. Yeah. Uh, she's got she's got some pressure on her from somewhere because she got in on recommendations. So just automatically with that, she's got to prove herself a little bit more than other students. And her power is super amazing. So I think. I'm sure we'll get some backstory from her pretty soon. He picked his dad's agency? Interesting to meet a hero that Deku doesn't know about. Wait, so he could use all one for all right away? He must have been a beast, because he was quirkless too. He must have trained his body hard because of that. Huh, he didn't expect him to ask about it. Amazon. He's got Prime. Mm, that's true. Time waits for no one. That's a catchphrase in The Girl Who Left Her Time. Really great movie if you haven't seen it, by the way. He didn't have a turning microwave at home. Spread the power through your whole body. You need to spread it. The whole thing with the microwave was a lesson. He wanted him to figure this out, that with those pastries. Wow, I'm sure this ending has burst a thousand fan fictions. And eat as a knight, that's perfect. Wow, they should make this show. That's cool. Pretty good episode. I like Gran Torino. I always, the Yoda shtick where, you know, he's kind of dumb, acting like he's not really teaching him anything, but really he's teaching him everything. Uh, yeah, I'm moving on. Let's move right along.